Welcome back to another Cool Loser Tech video. These are the top 10 best apps this week, number 367 on the Galaxy S8. For the best live wallpaper of the week, it is called 3D Hologram. Check this out. I love how it zooms in like that. It looks really good. It really does give the appearance of your icons floating. Again, here it is. Love that look. In the app itself, you can preview what it's gonna look like before you put them on your home screen. And mostly all these are free. You can download the full preview if you want to see it in a bigger form. If I would have to pay for one, it would be this one. I just love the way it looks. Three different layers that gives it a really cool effect. You can enable how much you want the 3D effect to be. So we'll keep that one as my wallpaper for now. Number two, Snap Swipe. On the right side, just my notification panel. In the middle, notification panel. But if I do the left side, I get something different. We get the music player of my choice, the calendar. We also have a scrollable widget in here for all my comments. And then over there, down there as well. Now it's very easy to set up. You can rearrange them by clicking onto here and say if you want it to be the Gmail on top. So let's bring that down and you see that Gmail becomes in the top portion. To remove one, we'll just remove this and we can add now and you can choose what widget you want and you can choose apps, Clash Royale. So you don't have to just be a widget you can be an application of your favorite. Number three, cursor control. This application allows you to use your volume buttons to select text. But let's say that you want to touch right in between the B and you can't get your finger or the cursor to go right in between where you want it to go. You can use the volume button, but I have it disabled here on Twitter. Okay, I'll leave this open and let's go back into the cursor control. We'll have to enable the certain applications to take control of it. As you can see, there's three other apps that will work in. And look at the loser part. Let's say I want to get into the O and S and the cursor will move. Now just by the volume button, I can adjust it rather than having to suffer trying to get it to stop at one point. Number four, floating apps. Now everything you see on this little list is stuff that you can use within one application. We will see that there's a little floating. I don't know if you paid attention and you saw it there, you're probably thinking, what was that? It doesn't snap into a certain corner. You can drag it anywhere you want. We're gonna tap on that and it'll bring up this little menu, controls for a flashlight. Everything will appear in a floating window. So I can do on and off, leave that open, hit that app, go to calculator. Now we got the calculator here. We could also resize it and make it bigger. Go here. You can even open YouTube. One YouTube video right here. And you could even open all your other applications regularly. And it floats on top of everything. Number five, install button. Now I can't really duplicate what this application does, but I can tell you that once you try to download APKs and you notice that it's not telling you that you can install it, it says like, application not acceptable because your ROM or your system doesn't want to install it. This will allow you to bypass that to install certain applications that do not work on your phone. Maybe your country restricts certain applications and if you have this application, you want to do the APK. But if you see this pop up right now, you might have had it before if you like to sideload applications. This will allow you to bypass that so you can get those applications running. Number six, Facer. Now this application is for people who have Android smartwatches like this. Now I did my showcase review on this watch and I absolutely love it. This is the standby mode. As soon as I touch it, it's gonna go into the next screen and you can see it more live and pick a few more from my favorites. Look at that, that looks really cool. So with the application, all you gotta do is go down to the explore tab and there's gonna be a tiny little cursor there, hundreds of watch faces and you can click on one of them. So it will give you a preview of what it looks like on your watch. You can do the dim mode. That's what it's gonna look when it dims down. Favorite it there and it becomes into your favorite folder. You can customize some of it if the developer has an option to customize. And if you want this one, you press apply and press free. The app is installing this theme onto the watch. And there we go, there's the standby mode. And then there's the wake mode. Number seven, Bix Remap. So when you press the Bixby button, this is what's gonna happen. It brings up Hello Bixby. I have not even tried it because I don't need to use it. I have Google Assistant. So Samsung took the ability to remap this button to be working for anything that you want. But on Android, there's always a workaround. But the only thing it does is kind of mask over the Bixby. Now, if you want to start the service, you're going to have to press the plus. Select your app, remember, Bixby button. 
kind of just dismisses it and goes into the application that you want. I never even accidentally hit it, but if you want to remap it to be useful for something, just click on it and it'll go over just a little bit. It's not too fast, but it works. Number eight, don't touch my phone. I, for one, would not leave my phone laying around so anyone can just grab it. But if you have your phone in your backpack, activate this application and you leave it in your bag and it's just sitting in there, right? Oops. Uh, any movement of someone taking your bag, this is going to go off and you're going to be able to track the people because obviously it's going to be your phone in there. If the person has it in their hand, they're not going to be able to open it to disable it. But since I have my fingerprint, I can stop it. It adds a little bit of security to not getting your phone stolen. Number nine, 60 decibels. Now, if you like listening to podcasts, you might like this application because you'll find new radio programs here and it'll play through the next one by itself. You can choose the collections, which is what programs you want to listen to. Of course, there's a lot of applications out there that offer podcasts like this, but this has quite a bit to choose from. You might like this overlay a little bit better. It continues where you left off every time you come back within the application. Make a playlist of stuff that you want to listen to later. You can download them. Talking tech. Google Assistant on the iPhone, which greatly outclasses Siri in a nutshell. Just in case you don't know how to find this stuff, you might discover new podcasts because you use this app and you can save it onto your other podcasts that you like to do. I'm in the works to work with somebody to do podcasts. You're going to get a load of my personality and get to know me very well on the podcast. And number 10, we got Computer Launcher. Now you can make your Android Home Launcher look like a computer PC. As you can see there, you still get the animations for your wallpaper. That's what's nice. But you can't really rearrange your icon, so you're stuck on there. You do get the Windows tab here. That's how you search through your application. There's life, 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 life at a glance. If you click into it, it'll open the right applications for it. All these icons go to your application that you already have in your phone. You can tap on this date and time takes you places if you tap on the pc mode it gives up like a little window give you the sense of using a pc you can see that tabs open hit it opens and closes you got more here click on that you can see there's your name of your computer your file explorer there's really not that much to customize on here but if you like this pc look if you select on amazon shopping you can do create shortcut and it sets it onto your desktop but you can't rearrange it you can remove it, but you can't rearrange anything on here, so you're kind of limited. But this is just a different cool launcher. Go try it out for yourself. But there you guys have it. Is this not crazy? Even this application, so you can do your fidget. Fidgeting is... The, the... <sighs> Save your money and play with this application if you want to play with it. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Later. Later.